So much like every single trip that I go on, I don't have a plan. But today I'm going to be driving to the middle of the Rocky Mountains, um, be living off of the land, cooking up the stuff that's in my fridge, doing some fishing, average truck life things. I also could potentially be meeting up with the most asked about person on this channel right now, well, besides myself, and that that's Sophie. We might, we might be meeting up, so join me for this weekend in the mountains. All right, so I drove by a bunch of the pull-offs, almost back in town. I found like a little park thing that I'm gonna try to sleep at tonight. Just dumping some footage from today. Oh man, I am sleepy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be getting up super bright and early. Just cause it's gonna be cold out. It's supposed to get down to like 19 degrees tonight. We're gonna be fishing tomorrow, it's exciting. Got the truck running for one last time. Uh, it'll shut off automatically in like the next 10 minutes. I tried to get up and go brush my teeth at the, at the bathroom. And uh, the door was locked because it has like a keypad on it. So it must automatically lock at 8 p.m., which kind of sucks, but is what it is. We'll see you in the morning. I'm excited to fish. Dude, this is so cold here. Oh my god. Run into town, do an errand or two, see if it gets any warmer out. Talk to some fly guys, see what they think about fishing today or where to fish today. I don't know, man. It might not be today. I love peanut butter so much. Uh, dying to know, is the fishing on the blue right now any good? Yeah. It is? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, just small bait is and mid stuff. Mid and nip. Mid and. Right on, have fun out there. Appreciate it. All right, well, sounds like fishing today can actually happen because I don't have to wade, which was the biggest thing I was concerned about. Let's get to the river. So here's the rig that I'm going to be fishing with today. This is a pretty simple setup called a nymphing rig. So strike indicator is right there. Comes down to some 5x tippet, which just means it's really, really thin. There's a split shot, and I tied a leader here, so the knot, the split shot can't get past that knot. The first fly is a pretty big stone fly, golden stone fly, coming down to a brown pheasant tail. And then down here we have a really small like size 22 midge. So, so these two flies, the bigger ones, are generally the like attractor flies and then they'll eat this tiny one. It's still winter out, it's cold. Fish uh, fish usually are kind of lethargic this time of year. So we're gonna see if we can go catch one. I got my bag all packed, gotta grab my net and then uh, see you on the river. Ooh, it feels good to be walking in waders again. It's my first time fishing in Colorado, right here. The snow tells no lies. Let's go to uh, 
wherever this person was fishing, I guess, first. Wow. Look at this. Shallow rock like this holds a lot of bugs in it usually, and then it like pushes it into the deeper water where the fish like to hang out. Yeah, this looks like a good spot right here. I had a fish on. Oh, was that a fish to you? Look at, you see what I got on my hook here? This is actually what the trout are feeding on. There's a little larva stuck to it. We'll leave those on there actually. Whoa! I don't like this spot. Let's find another one. Another day, trout, another day. All right, no luck fishing at two different rivers today, so might as well try our luck at off-roading. Uh, Sophie and I have met up, we've got a pizza, and we're going down some beaten goat trail to sleep on the last active volcano that's in Colorado. I guess there's an active volcano here according to online, so I, did, I, I can't tell if they're messing with me or not, but there's like volcanic rock and stuff. I guess. We'll see. How you doing back there? Are you alive over? I don't like my music. Pizza, 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 pizza. It's not bad, huh? It's not bad. We're being close. <laughs> We're being close to home. It's it not, is not bad. And it's not populated. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'll tell you that. This is rabbit food pizza, but it's mm. good as f <laughs> We've got two sleeping bags zipped together. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite, yeah. These sleeping bags like don't zip up. <laughs> the way that mine zips up, it like doesn't go all the way down to her feet, all the all the way to the feet, and then I think Soph's like goes all the way to the feet. So like it's <laughs> there's just a bunch of extra stuff here. We had some pizza, listen to some music. I had some bottles of water. It's a good night. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Apparently, I hogged the warm sleeping bag. You did. Night. Sorry. Look at those clouds down there. What is, what's happening there? <laughs> I don't know. Not like 25, 30 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna wait for it to warm up a little bit and then maybe make some pancakes. No pancakes. Yeah. Creaky door. Are you alive? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of peanut butter. Are you sure you're okay with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like stupid hot. Yeah, I got berries and stuff too. We take our breakfast very seriously around here. Oh my god. I'm really good. Oh my god. I'm so good. Oh my god. What's the verdict? It's so good. Maybe the best pancake of my entire life. <laughs> Actually? Are you being yeah, dramatic? No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Alright, well, 
just spent like the last couple, I don't know, 10 minutes just picking up some trash around the campsite. I ended up filling up an entire bag, so you can see though, it's looking a lot better. Keeping a clean campsite is uh, kind of just insurance that hopefully the next people that come over here will respect it a little bit more. Like we got a little bit of a mud hole right here. So be careful. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, this road is Alright, we better be kind of careful here. This looks like a lot of mudish. Look at these ruts. That's crazy. I'm gonna get out and look because if it gets worse than this, we might not want to go down this way. Yeah, I agree. All right, we're just gonna go check to see how much worse this is because like that doesn't look good. This doesn't look amazing. But if we stay on the high ground for the most part, it looks like we'll be okay. I just don't want to get around this corner and see yeah, more mud. And then it dries out, so I think we should be actually pretty good. A big daddy out. Alright, let's do it. Ain't nothing but a thing. Wasn't that bad. It's better to be safe than sorry with stuff like that, though. Hey. Yeah, see, there are volcano rocks here. Look at this thing. Bam. Is that like a baby bok choy? Yeah, baby bok choy. It's not too much of a baby, it looks like a preteen. What was that for a campsite? Nap the teeth is yummy. Enjoy the thicket. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's gonna stay a while. He liked your soybean. a break ski uh, I caught my first rainbow trout in Colorado uh, and yeah I think it's time to do a catch and cook now just me a five weight fly rod and a dream I'm gonna see if we can make it happen inside the Rocky Mountains it doesn't get much better than that hopefully I can catch a rainbow trout or ten well I mean if I catch ten I'll let them go but I'll keep I'll keep two
look at this moon right now. I don't know if it gets any better than that. feeling pretty thankful for the people that I get to meet on the road um yeah I don't know what else to say I'm happy that uh I got to spend some time with a new friend see some new spots cook some meals have some good company for a while because I'm very introverted but it is nice to like break up the the me time <laughs> sometimes I gotta like pinch myself and <laughs> let me know that this is real life but it's, it is. Good morning. Wow. It's always hard to leave, but gotta do what I gotta do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, in-look of the last weekend. All that's left to say is until next time, just keep on trucking.